Hi guys, I am here at your Bible reading. We are going to start with 2 Corinthians chapter 11, and we'll be reading verses 16 through 33 today. Paul boasts about his sufferings. And what you'll see in here is a little bit of is, you know, what they had to the disciples and the ones who love Jesus and want to tell about Jesus, a little bit of what they have to go through back then, and it's starting to be bad. It'll be bad like that here soon enough. You know how bad it's getting already. They're trying to take God out of everything, and the people who do not believe in God, you know, it's like Christians don't have no rights, you know. Um, they're just trying to push Christianity clear out. Because if somebody's offended with something a Christian does, do they not take the side of the unbeliever over the Christian? Nine times out of ten, they do. They're just trying to push Christianity aside. We have no rights. It's I could go on and on about that, but you guys who love the Lord know what I'm saying. And you know, just like the Bible said, it's only going to get worse before Jesus comes back. So you need to stay strong in your faith. They can take Jesus out of everything in this world, but you know what? They cannot, if you don't allow them, they cannot take Jesus and our Father out of your heart. That's something they cannot take away from you unless you let them turn you to their beliefs. Jesus will always be there for you. He will never turn his back on you. You've got to be strong enough to do the same. It don't matter what they do to us here in this world, guys. Because once we leave this world, we know where we're going. We keep Jesus in our hearts. But if you don't, you know what will happen and where you'll go. And I'd rather die a thousand deaths on this earth and spend an eternity in hell for a minute. Okay, I will stop talking now. And we will get started with 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 16 through 33. Paul boasts about his sufferings. <clears throat> I repeat, let no one take me for a fool. But if you do, then tolerate me just as you would a fool, so that I may do a little boasting. In this self-sufficient boasting, I am not talking about the, as the Lord would, but as a fool. Since many are boasting in the way the world does, I too will boast. You gladly put up with me, fools, since you are so wise. In fact, you even put up with anyone who enslaves you, or exploits you, or takes advantage of you, or puts on airs, or slaps you in the face. To my shame, I admit that we are too weak for that. Whatever anyone else dares to boast about, I am speaking as a fool. I also dare to boast about. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they Abraham's descendants? So am I. Are they servants of Christ? I am out of my mind to talk like this. I am more. I have worked much harder, been in prison more frequently, been flogged more severely, and been exposed to death again and again. Five times I received from the Jews the forty lashes minus one. Three times I was beaten with rods. Once I was pelted with stones. Three times I was shipwrecked. I spent a night and a day in the open sea. I have been constantly on the move. I have been in danger from rivers, in danger from bandits, in danger from my fellow Jews, in danger from Gentiles, in danger in the city, in danger in the country, in danger at sea, and in danger from false believers. I have labored and toiled and have often gone without sleep. I have known hunger and thirst and have often gone without food. I have been cold and naked. Besides everything else, I face daily the pressure of my 
concern for all the churches. Who is weak, and I do not feel weak. Who is led to sin, and do not inwardly burn. If I must boast, I will boast of the things that show my weaknesses. The God and Father of the Lord Jesus who is to be praised forever, knows that I am not lying. In Damascus, the governor under King Artius had the city of the Damascenes guarded in order to arrest me, but I was lowered in a basket from a window in the wall and slipped through his hands. And you remember that probably from the earlier Bible reading that we talked about when Paul, when Paul was being lowered down in the basket to escape. Okay, guys, that's where we're stopping with Second Corinthians today. Now we'll go into Psalm 54. For the director of music was stringed instruments, a mascot of David, when the Ziphites had gone to Saul and said, Is not David hiding among us? So Psalm 54, Save me, O God, by your name. Vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, O God. Listen to the words of my mouth. Arrogant foes are attacking me. Ruthless people are trying to kill me. People without regard for God. Surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustains me. Let evil recoil on those who slander me. In your faithfulness, destroy them. I will sacrifice a free will offering to you. I will praise your name, Lord, for it is good. You have delivered me from all my troubles, and my eyes have looked in triumph on my foes. And that was Psalm 54. And to end the Bible reading today, we're going to read... Proverbs 23, we finished up Proverbs chapter 22 yesterday. Oh, excuse me. And then we'll be reading verses 1 through 3 today, which is saying 7, so it'll be read all together. So Proverbs 23, 1 through 3, saying 7 says, When you sit to dine with a ruler, note well what is before you, and put a knife to your throat if you are given to gluttony. Do not crave his delicacies, for that food is deceptive. Okay, guys, that was our Bible reading for today. I hope you guys are having a great Thursday. For some reason, I keep thinking today is Friday all day. I had to keep being like, no, it's not Friday, it's Thursday. <laughs> so hopefully you guys are having a great Thursday. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, I will see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.